there, 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 there. You see that bull? Yeah. That's a big bull. Sound like he crashed right close. Yeah. Nice one clean shot. Shane, he's Look right this. there. He's there right he is. there. Oh. One paddle is bigger than a lot Shane, of other moose. That, that is, is nice, incredible. Huh? Truly mature Northern British Columbia bull moose. Oh. Well, you weren't long putting us on this guy this morning. You you'd yeah, said you knew where all the cows and calves were, and you said there should be a bull coming around, and you called that to a T. This bull, you know, probably 11 years old, 12 years old. Defensive points close together, you know, full on in the rut. And, you know, we got him late in the rut, so this guy's bred a lot of wonderful cows and his genetics will continue on. This thing has everything for score. With the palm, length of palm, spread, lots of tines, 15 by yeah. 12 on the tine. This is an incredible, incredible bull moose. I, you may have to travel a long ways around this world to get a better species or better classification of a species than this. Oh, absolutely. This bull is, is fantastic. And I mean, and if you get something that's huge like this, it is a bonus. It's, it's the being out here and, you know, enjoying the country and the horses and the terrain and, and looking at so many animals. Well, I just want you to know from start to finish, you guys have been top notch. And then to finish with shooting and harvesting a bull moose like this, this has been an absolute pleasure to be here with you guys in this part of the country. This is a beautiful piece of Canada, let alone the world. Yeah, this is a beautiful piece of Canada and uh, we only got one earth, so we gotta look after it. Well, it's neat to see the way you guys care for it, care for the animals, care for the, the land we're on and, and just truly enjoy it and appreciate it. And that, that really is part of this adventure for us. So I just wanna thank you again for having us You're here. You're welcome, pleasure having you.
I'm gonna, I'm gonna fire him up. Good shot, Paul. Boy. Good shot. Yeah, he's going down, Paul. He's going down. Yeah, he's done. He's, there he is. He's down. He's down. <laughs> Thank right, you, right, buddy. Thank you. Nelson, that's incredible. Incredible work. Absolutely Call incredible. Is that it? Awesome. Good job. Oh, yeah. don't you love it when they only go five or ten yards, Nelson? Love it. It will work. <laughs> Let's have a look at this boy. Just give him props up. <sighs> Get him up. There we go. What a beautiful animal. I got to tell you. Now I know in the, in the east, especially Newfoundland, you guys all count your points, right? That's right, yep. So let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. 12. Does that count? Yep. 12, 13, a 14 pointer. Great. Not bad, Not eh? Not bad for a good morning, <laughs> early morning. <laughs> and pretty early morning. Pretty early. Yep. Not, the sun just barely even up over the sky and what a day. Okay. I mean, I gotta tell you, Newfoundland is a treat to come to. It is just, the topography here is gorgeous. I absolutely love it. I love being able to see so far, those calls echo out over those hills. It's just, it's that's just lovely. awesome. Great. People, they're not so bad either. No again. <laughs> <laughs> no. The food's been amazing, amazing and the moose hunting is just awesome. Yeah. Just awesome. Well, you did a great job calling. I, I couldn't have been more excited. It was just, it was just one of those blood pumping, adrenaline filled mornings. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It makes you realize you're alive and grateful to be so. Well, and check out this body, eh? This big animal. Is that right? not a big animal? That's huge. Holy cow, and yeah. I think we got to carry him all the way back to the oh. boat. <laughs> I'm glad you're strong. <laughs> <laughs> wow, well, just awesome. Well, we'll get the knives nice. out and we'll get to work. Right. Awesome. Well, we just spotted one of the bulls from last night. He's right out in the middle of the bog in a nice big tuck. So we're gonna get down there quick and we're gonna make a move on him. Ready? Let's go. All right. We're gonna go across here and get down in that little easy spot. First. Okay. Yeah, there he is right there. We got the bull right here. 
at 150 yards. He's just on the other side of the dock, but we think he might be working his way down, so we might have to make one more move. But we're gonna wait here a little bit longer and just wait him out. Let's just watch him for a few minutes and let him do his natural thing. Sounds good. He's just tucked on the other side. Yeah, we got to win in our favor and we got time. Bags, we can crawl in there. Yeah, keep your eyes over there because you don't see his right. Okay, Cap, it should be just up right there, so just sneak up there and, and have to get his eyes you can. Yeah. Love it when a plan comes together. That's just, yeah, you couldn't ask for better right there. I, every time I walk up on a moose, man, I can't believe the size of their bodies. Oh, he's a beauty. Wow. He's oh, a beauty. Look at his nice long tines, eh? Yeah. Greg, what a hunt it's been, man. I've never sat in a spot like we sat and seen so many moose. Like, we in one day, we must have seen 25 for sure. Yeah, it's crazy, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Like, and the big ones we've seen. So what we see, like four shooters? Yeah, for sure. Easy. Yeah. Yeah. And look, and this guy has just presented himself perfectly for us. We get up there and uh, you, get, you set the game plan and it worked to a T. Oh yeah. To a T. I can't thank better. you enough, buddy. Oh, you're thank welcome, you so sir. Much. You're welcome, yeah. And uh, we'll start getting to work. Let's do it. It's time to do the work now. <laughs> Sounds good. out of camp right at last. first light, got here within an hour, and we got two bulls in view right now. We haven't even really been glassing, so rut's just kicking in. We're going after this big boy because the wind's in our favor. Wind's drifting this way. Another guy down the valley about a mile. This guy's about 700 yards. We're gonna get down low, try to get in and get a shot on him. So get moving here now real quick.
folks. I'm shaking like a leaf right now. I'm tired. I'm sweating. We've got up with elevation and the bull passed through the firs. And I thought he didn't look as big. I looked behind him. 50 yards behind him is the big bull. Two big bulls. There he comes right now. There he comes. This is the first one. I gotta try to wait for the second one. Steps on that hole. He's down. <gasps> Folks, might be one of the most miraculous, amazing moose hunts I've ever been on in my life. We've worked our tails off. We just passed a bull that now looking at it, maybe it's twin or even bigger, but you know what? That's a risk I was willing to take because we're here to take great footage. We got spectacular footage of that bull walking across and this guy feeding his way through following. First thing in the morning, Northern British Columbia. I can see Doug and Jimmy coming down the hill right now. We'll meet them in the creek. What a morning, what a moose hunt. <laughs> How is that for a view? That was awesome. Oh, we're buddy, we got him. Above you. We got him. Yes. You guys are watching it like a movie. Absolutely. Let me take that bag like from being you. In a movie. Look yeah. at the size of that bull moose. That is the most amazing thing I've ever <laughs> seen, Keith. Dougie, I'm so glad you got to be here for it and watch that. Look at the body, Jimmy. Good job, That buddy. was worth every wow. puddle, every cloud, wow. every inch of this buck brush. This is an absolute monster, a monster. I mean. Rack-wise, score-wise, doesn't matter. Just sheer mass and antler and beauty. What a moose. Now, something transpired that you guys just told me in the walk-up that I didn't know about. We saw two bulls come together. Like right after I left, right the after second left. one popped. Second pop, fighting antlers crashing, trees snapping off, we could hear them. It was a battle inside the woods. I never heard that. We were sweating our butts off, moving, making, trying to get elevation across this draw, and one stepped out, and my first glance was, he's not what I remember in the scope. And then we were gonna, we were looking for a spot, and out of the corner of my eye, I would step this guy, and I said, I said, this may be a risk, but I'm willing to take it. Let the first one go and shot this guy at 220. Absolutely. But he took beautiful. his sweet time to come in, eh? But he's tired from beating up the other guy, I guess. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. You know what? We're right on the border of the Alaska Yukon BC corner. This is actually a Canadian moose, not an Alaskan Yukon moose, but size-wise, he's on the cusp. This is a gigantic animal, like body-wise, mass-wise. What an animal. <laughs> You're gonna find out packing them. Thank you, boys. <laughs> well, let's get to her. Oh, spectacular. On the evening of day three, Jeremy and Mark spotted a big bull with some cows many kilometers away. Though they didn't have enough time to go after him that evening, the next day they headed back up to the same lookout tower and luckily spotted the bull again, chasing a younger bull off. After dropping some layers, the stock was on. I see you. I see you. 
Let's see what he sees. I saw him go down. I saw him stumbling off that ledge right there, dude. He should be, he should be right there, dude. Nice bullet. He should be right there. Where'd my bullet go? I want to keep my bullet. Oh, there it is. He should be right there. It's cool. He should be right here. Oh, dude, there he is, man. Hey, we can go. He's right there. Oh, my oh. goodness, dude. Look at him. Oh, dude, that's a bull. Holy smokes. That's a dandy bull. Look at that bull. Hey, <laughs> let it go, buddy. Let it go. Holy smokes, man. Oh, my mother bull. Boy. I'll tell you that. I mean, that's <laughs> that's why you come to Newfoundland right yeah. there, buddy. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, well, yeah, congratulations again, you, my man. man. Thank <laughs> you. That, that's more bull than I dreamed of, man. Oh. He's just got a cool rack. Boy, look at that, yeah. man. So, so cool. Yeah. I mean, I've shot a lot of elk, but this body <laughs> on this thing, oh, my gosh. He's a big bull, boy. Oh, big bull. Smokes, dude. I was hoping to shoot him with the bow, but from where he was coming, and we knew he was yeah. he was coming well, straight in. You wouldn't have been able to shoot that no. if you had had the bow in your hand. Straight in to me, and, and the wind was not cooperating, so I just made the decision to grab the gun. It's the second to last day, and this is a dandy bull. Uh, so. Oh, definitely, Dude. definitely. Now it's time for the work. Yep, let's get this thing taken care of. Yeah, the fun is starting now. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
three brothers out having fun but a longtime friend Joe Dampier being here with us and that truly was the tale of two different hunts. Paul and I watched this bull and heard him come off in front of Kevin and totally thought Kevin was gonna harvest this big bull and in a matter of seconds you're waving us over saying no 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 you're gonna harvest this bull. <laughs> yeah. yeah as soon as I realized that it was gonna pass by Kevin out of range it was like all right we got to work this one now for for us so well and you called it well when you did because honestly there wasn't a lot of time in between when we got down in position and then that, that bull appeared that's right because i mean he hesitated a little bit up on the hill but then once he committed he, he was, was moving hard oh yeah. and he's beautiful look at him with those big fronts he's got on him oh these daggers oh. are crazy <laughs> oh, <laughs> and he's busted long. up so he's yeah. been fighting scars all of his neck and ears Rational ripped ear right, right here yeah uh, it was a great yeah. hunt and i gotta say i gotta thank you joe for your calling i gotta thank kev for his restraint in passing and not trying to move in on that animal and letting him go and i gotta thank keith for catching it all on camera so it was an absolutely fantastic hunt we've still got some time left and uh We've actually got a lot of work ahead of us, but uh, I'm excited because this means one more trip to Advanced Tax <laughs> yeah. Nice. Right. I love going in there. <laughs> <laughs> All right.
see the wind is pounding off the Atlantic right now with snow flurries, but we found that ball. He's way down in the timber, over 500 yards. We gotta sneak down and get in a good shooting spot, try to get this wind to make a shot. We gotta go quick. Just to the left of where he is. He's gonna step up to that spot. Yep. As soon as he steps up there, he just get in front of that. Okay, he's moving there now. Okay. Okay, get ready. He went down. Awesome, man. He went down. Thank awesome. you. Good shot. Thank Good you. Shot. That's, that's a monster. Move, He's man. a beauty. That's a beauty. That wind helped us a lot getting oh, in. We're 135 yards 135 from him. Yards. But he was tucked down in that timber. It's a tight oh, shooting. Oh, what a ball. There was well, a lot of timber there for the shoots. Are we going to see him? Oh, you bet. <laughs> Big antler that's, right there. Oh, look big. at that bull, Pius. That's him. Look at that that's moose. That's a big rack. Holy moly. Look at that one side. Make sure he's down. Oh, Pius. Ah, he down. is down, my friend. He down. We got him. We got our big Newfoundland bull. Oh. Look at this. Look at the body on him, but look at the scars. His eye is all cut up. He's got broken tines, two on this side, one on this side. Oh, Look at that, Pius. Right all through. The other bulls punch straight through him. Through. You know what that means? Another There's just a big one here. <laughs> Pius, this, this animal's incredible, and this is exactly what you told me we'd experience. Remote, unpressured hunting with multiple age class of animals. A big game hunter, and I can speak for all of us out there, whether it's whitetail, caribou, moose, you dream of seeing age classes and having a chance at a big mature one. The body on him is an absolute awesome. giant, and he provided an epic hunt for us because we've been chasing chase him. him across these That's mountains right. a few times. And uh, what a hunt, what a hunt. Thank he you, my friend. Thank us, you. He gave us a run for What you a know. treat to be here with you in, in your outfit. What a, what a spot on the edge of the Atlantic Ocean. I know, eh? He Absolute treasure of a hunt for what me. I appreciate it. And you know what's best? This will feed many families this winter, and, and that's, a, that's a pleasure for us as well. So thank you for being part of our family's meat harvest for the winter, and thank you for providing such a wonderful Newfoundland hunt for us. Oh, you're welcome. I have a pleasure to have you here.
Oh, there's a bull coming up out of that bottom. He looks pretty mature. Let's go have a closer look. Looks like a nice one, Paul. Take him. Is this the one, Naomi? Yeah. Take him. Okay, I'm taking him. All right, here we go. I'm gonna hit him again. He's down. He's down. Oh my gosh. Naomi, thank you. Thank you. Oh wow, Chase. Thank you, buddy. What a hunt this has been. But you know what? Let's not talk about it here. He's dead. Let's go get him. About time. <laughs> Oh, oh, wow. Let's get our hands on this beauty. See, we can prop him up here. Oh, wow. Just awesome. Do they not seem bigger and so much more gratifying after you've hiked miles and miles and miles? <laughs> it's true. We've worked really hard, but he's awesome. He is awesome. I can't thank you guys enough. And Naomi, to share your tag, honestly, what, what an experience it's been. And it's not often we get to hunt with women that are willing to put in the miles and, and work so hard. It's not easy, is it? Not easy, but it's been worth it. I'm glad to hear that. Chase, thank you. You know, no, I appreciate you coming out and it's and been twice. a blast. <laughs> twice. Yeah, we right. couldn't get it done in September, but we got her done here. And you know what? It's not every day yeah. you get to come out and shoot an Alberta moose. And if you ever have the chance to come to this part of Alberta and shoot a great moose, you've got to do it. I'm your host, Paul Beasley from Canada Rough. Remember, enjoy the greatness of Canada. Be proud of your hunting heritage. Look at the dried velvet and everything. Just awesome. What a beauty. If you enjoyed this video, click on the subscribe button and check out our other hunting and wildlife videos right here. Thanks for watching and remember, enjoy the greatness of Canada and be proud of our hunting heritage.